Hi, I'm Matthew Tosh. The junk food science lessons use a range of discussion-based learning approaches to engage pupils in structured conversation and to help them make decisions about food and healthy eating. Purposeful discussion is essential for successful group work. The teachers you are about to see have created learning environments which encourage pupils to communicate effectively, learn from each other and try out new ideas. You'll see that the teachers achieve this by establishing ground rules, promoting good listening skills and using discussion agendas. Note how the teachers scale up the discussion, starting the pupils in pairs, followed by small groups and then finally the whole class. To facilitate a good discussion, obviously, you've got to start, you've got to lead it somehow, but I think getting the children to talk, maybe we use like talk partners to talk with, you know, the person beside them first, then bring it back to a larger group where they can go off and, and discuss and then bring it back to full class discussion. Talk partners is a great way of starting off a discussion, then bringing it back as a whole class and discussing some of the points and then other children can say, well, yeah, I thought that or I didn't think about that. So it just gives everyone a chance to reflect upon what they've said and to listen what other children have got to say too. I think it's an important tool through life, really. You've got to learn to listen and be part of discussions instead of just sitting back and letting everybody else take over. Otherwise, well, you're never going to get a say and just go with them go with things that you might not think are right, aren't you? So I think it's important that children realise that discussion's important. I think it's really important to give all children the opportunity to get their point across. I don't necessarily think that is through pointing at a child and asking them to say what they think, but I think working in a mixed group gives everybody the chance. Does anyone have any other key words? Got that one. Got healthy, unhealthy, obesity and balanced diet. Put over 20 great with the sports. I think when you set them off going in their groups to talk about things, just to stop them and to remind them of all the things we must do when we are doing discussions, to listen to one another, to make sure everybody's had an opportunity to talk. And I think as well, getting to record it down and sometimes putting their initials beside it so they know what they've said and then bringing it together as a whole group, making sure that everyone has been included is important within discussion. The children know that well, listening is the most important, important part of what's going on in the classroom. If they don't listen, then they don't find out what's happening. And also, if they're not willing to listen to other children, then you know they might not listen to them. I think it's really important to promote that children may not agree with what somebody else has said, but they need to pay attention to that. And it's something that they'll use as they grow older in life. I mean, you're, they're always going to come across times where they may be with someone that doesn't say exactly what they want to hear. And just to be wary of that and to say, well, yeah, OK, that's your, that's your decision. That's what you think. But I think differently and being able to communicate with each other. What solutions have you come up with? Corey. Uh. Monday to Friday, we could have none of them. And when it's a weekend, we could have some sweets. If it was Corey's idea, you could just go and spend loads and loads of money and make up for the week that you didn't get any chocolate. I think as the teacher, you need to be able to know, you need to know your children well enough to know who, who feels confident in speaking and who maybe not be as confident and making sure that there is a mix of those children within a group. Um, sometimes children will always tend to go and sit beside their friend and things like that and I think it's important that you spread them out and give them an opportunity to work with all of the children within their class so that they feel confident when it comes to talking to other people, people who they may not always talk to during the day.